Whether you're enjoying Holiday Thaw 2018 with snow on the ground or palm trees touching the sky, we here at ResortLoop.com and our wonderful friends at Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company want to wish you and yours a very happy holiday season. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. There's so much in life worth celebrating, and this year, Walt Disney World is making it possible to give your special moments the magic touch they deserve. So we invite you to join us as we celebrate today. Hey everyone, I'm Tim Scott. This is ResortLoop.com. Just wanted to say I hope everyone is having a wonderful holiday season and that you're enjoying Holidaython 2018. I'm hoping you're going to find today's episode as amazing as it was for us. I'm actually going to play for you the Candlelight Processional from December December 17th. This is the show my daughter was in with the uh, Disney cast choir, the Voices of Liberty. The narrator was Gary Sinise. It was very powerful, very moving. Loved every bit of it. If you enjoyed it half as much as I did when I was there, you're really in for a treat. Once again, hope everyone's having a great holiday season, and enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good evening, and welcome to the Candlelight Processional. Tonight's presentation is under the baton of conductor Dr. John Sinclair.
welcome the Voices of Liberty as we begin Epcot's Candlelight Processional.
ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this evening's special guest narrator, Gary Sinise. Thank you. Good evening, welcome. This is a very special year, as it is the diamond anniversary of the Candlelight Processional. Walt Disney himself created the first Candlelight Processional at Disneyland 60 years ago. During all these years, literally millions of guests have enjoyed the Christmas story, the traditional carols, and especially the glorious music of the holiday season. So, to continue this marvelous heritage, I invite you to sit back, enjoy this magnificent orchestra and these awesome singers here, and let's begin. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin who was betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. to pass 
In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And all went, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord.
And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, 
Where is he who is born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose in the east and have come to worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. behold, the star that they had seen went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered their gifts to him, gold and frankincense and myrrh.
The story of the birth of Christ has been told and retold for over 2,000 years. About 200 years ago, in a small church in Austria, the organist Franz came to Joseph Moore and said, Father Joseph, the organ is broken and we will have no music for the Christmas Eve service. Later in the day, as Joseph made his rounds, he visited a home where a baby had just been born and he thought about the birth of the baby Jesus. He was so inspired, he wrote a poem and went back to the church and found Franz. He said, if we can't have the old organ, maybe we can have a new song and you can play the guitar. Franz said, Father, I only know three chords. Then make a song with three chords. Well, Franz hummed and strummed and soon he had composed the most beautiful and beloved of all the Christmas carols. bestowed upon us all during this special time of year. Tonight, people around the world mark this joyful season with heartfelt sentiment. As we each treasure our unique holiday traditions of family, faith, and culture, let us join together in celebrating the birth of the blessed babe in a manger and rejoice in the universal message of peace on earth goodwill toward men, joy to the world.
unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. <laughs> Show, great show. Uh, wonderful to be back. Um, 
this is, let's see, I, I started doing the show in 2000. This is my uh, 14th year since then uh, doing this wonderful show. It's great to be back. I love, I love doing it. Have you tried the funnel cake, Silver? So yeah. <laughs> uh, please sit down for one one second, um, because uh, can we have the house lights up, please? Um, I've been blessed uh, in my career and uh, in television and movies to have some su success, and I've been able to kind of channel that into a. Uh, a foundation, a nonprofit uh, support foundation for our military veterans, our first responders. And... So, our military families. It's, it's, uh, these are our freedom providers and our security providers, and they, it's a dangerous job. And, and you know, sometimes difficult things happen for these military families. So I, I feel it's uh, that we, we can all pitch in and uh, support them and pat them on the back. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna ask all our veterans, our active duty, our first responders to please stand up. Let us back in, pat you on the back. Right now.
ladies and gentlemen, we extend our sincere thanks to all of our participating choirs and to tonight's guest narrator, Gary Sinise. Vacation memories will stay with you and your family for a lifetime. The Resort Loop Travel Group was created with this in mind. Our fee-free services will relieve you of the stress and confusion of finding and booking the best vacation at the best price. After booking, we will continue to monitor for ways to save you even more on your vacation. We will check for any upcoming packages and discounts to save you as many vacation dollars as possible. Resort Loop Travel Group, gateway to your magical vacation memories. Get a quote or for more information, visit resortlooptravelgroup.com.